Greatest fight card Scott Coker's ever put on. To tell you how good this card is, Vandalay Silva is fighting Rampage Jackson, and they're not the main event, okay? Just to put that in perspective. Aaron Pico is on the card. He is not the main event. He is not even the co-main event. So when you get to the main event, we got Gegard versus Rory. I have never been clear on what happened between these two guys. Something along the way pissed them both off to where publicly they began calling each other out. You know, nobody calls out Rory McDonald. You fight Rory when you have to fight Rory. Well, Gegard called him out. Nobody fights Gegard. You, you, you fight Gegard when you have to fight him. Nobody chooses to fight Musasi. Roy said he wanted to fight him. So whatever the story is, I feel it's been lost in the shuffle. But that's an incredible fight. And as I look at that fight and I try to break down who's going to win, it's a really tough one for me. You know, about the only way to beat uh, Gegard is to get him tired. You can get him really fatigued. And that's a really rare thing. But if you go back and you see King Mo versus Gegard, that's one thing that Mo really did to him. He kept that pressure on him. Musasi struggled to hold up a little bit. I don't know that Rory, as good of a pace as he has, as much as Rory's going to be in his face. I don't know that with giving up and coming up in a weight class that he's just enough man to wear Gegard down. You know, Gegard used to fight at heavyweight back in the pride days. He was training with Fedor. He was in the ring against Mark Hunt. I mean... I just don't know that he's going to have a problem in the 25 minutes in the endurance category with a 170 pounder. I don't know. And, uh, you know, the more I look at that fight, you know, the, the very few guys we've ever seen beat Rory, but you got to hurt him bad. You got to hurt him really bad. You know, Lawler was able to hurt him, and Rory said as much. And Rory didn't go away, he didn't flinch. We didn't even know until the fight was done, and then Rory came out and talked about it. He said, you know, he really hurt me, he cracked me in the jaw, and my teeth were loose. And I do think that Gegard has that kind of power. I think he's got the power over 25 minutes to hurt Rory. But um, that's just a great fight. It's a great fight. Anytime I, I, you know, I sit here, I always want to give you guys an opinion. And usually, what, what am I known for? Making the wrong prediction, right? But every now and then, there's times I can't give a prediction. It's not because I'm, uh, I'm too scared to do it. I, just, I legitimately don't know. I close my eyes. I picture the fight. I see it play out some different ways. I turn the camera on. I, tell, I come tell you guys what I think for right or wrong. That's a really tough one for me. And, you know, sh should Rory win it, creates a big log jam, log jam. You know, he gets to go down. It's one of the few guys ever to hold multiple belts simultaneously in different weight classes within a reputable organization. Really big deal. What happens after that? I don't know. In terms of 185, I know what Rory does. Win or lose, Rory's got to go defend the 175, uh, or rather 170-pound title in the uh, welterweight grand prix so i think that we're gonna have a lot of fun i think it's a meaningful weekend stick around let's see what drama plays out